Hello friends, I welcome you all in my YouTube channel Angels Talk Show in the series of online computer classes of digital electronics subject. Today we will discuss the important topic logic gates. So before to start this wonderful and useful video for all BCA, BTEC, MCA students, I would like to request you if you are new at our YouTube channel Angels Talk Show, please subscribe our channel Angels Talk Show and press bell icon for the notification of new educational, technical and motivational videos. So now let's start our video and discuss this important topic logic gates. So in this first slide, I will discuss about you the definition of logic gates. Friends, logic gates are the basic building blocks of any digital system. It is an electronic circuit having one or more than one input and only one output. The relationship between input and output is based on the certain logic. Another definition of logic gate is logic gate is a basic building block of digital circuit which is used to implement a boolean function. We have another definition also of logic gate. Logic gate is a physical device implementing a boolean function. It performs a logic operation on one or more binary inputs and produces a single binary output. Now friends, we have several types of logic gates in digital electronics we, and all of these gates are classified in three main categories, basic gates, universal gates and exclusive gates and the example of basic gates universal gates and exclusive gates are as given below. Here we have AND gate, OR gate, NOT or we can say inverter gate and buffer gate are in the category of basic gates. NAND gate and NOR gate are in the category of universal gates and these two important gates XOR gate and XNOR gate which are also known as exclusive OR or exclusive NOR gates are in the category of exclusive gates. So friends, this is the definition of logic gates and also several different types of logic gates we have discussed in this first slide. Now about basic gates, as I told you that in logic gates, we have four different different basic gates. The first one is AND gate. This is the graphical symbol of AND gate. Here we are seeing that in the leftmost side we are providing inputs and on the rightmost side of this gate AND gate we are getting the output. The algebraic function of AND gate is known as f is equal to x into y, x dot y where we can calculate the output f by multiplying x and y inputs. This is the truth table of this AND gate where on the left hand side we are placing the different different values of input and on the right hand most side we are getting the output. Here we are seeing that when both of the inputs are 0 0 the output will be 0. The inputs of x and y are 0 and 1 we are getting output 0 and when x and y are is equal to 1 and 0 the output of AND gate will be 0 and when both of the inputs are high condition it means at 1 the output of this AND gate will be 1 that is also known as true. Here friends we can also say that 0 will be known as false and 1 will be known as true in this truth table or another name of 0 and 1 is 0 can be also known as low and 1 will be known as high. This is the OR gate and this is the graphical symbol of OR gate. Here we are seeing that X and Y are two inputs and F is the output and the algebraic function of OR gate can be calculated by f is equal to x plus y and this is the OR gate table, truth table. 
where in the left mode side we are placing input values and on the right mode side we are getting the output value when both of the inputs in or gates are low or false the output will be false if any one of the input or both of the inputs are one the output of or gate will be always one this is another not not gate or we can say inverter gate here friends this is the graphical symbol of not or inverter gate and this is the algebraic function of not gate not gate the output of not gate will be equal to the inversion of input here this is the truth table of not gate here we are providing only single input that is x and we are getting only single output f here when we provide zero as input the complement value of zero will be equal to 1 and that is the output and when we are providing x is equal to 1 the complement value of this 1 will be 0 and that will be the output of this not gate in the same way we have last basic gate buffer where this is the graphical symbol of buffer gate and this is the algebraic function of buffer gate where we are seeing that the output of buffer gate is same as the input of buffer gate and also we can justify it in the truth table we are providing x input that is equal to 0 the output we are gaining is 0 and when we are providing output input x is equal to 1 we are getting the output 1 this all about basic gates we have discussed and gate or gate inverter or not gate and the last one is buffer gate in this slide we will discuss about universal gates friends in digital electronics we have two universal gates why it is called as universal gates because both of these gates can implement any of the digital circuit so that is why these both of the gates nand gate and nor gate are known as universal gates this is the graphical symbol of nand gate where we are providing two inputs x and y and getting the output f friends nand gate is the combination of and gate and inverter here this is the bubble which is working as inverter or not gate with and gate so that is why we are getting the output f is equal to the complement of and gate or we can see that f is equal to x y ka whole complement and this is the truth table of nand gate where we are seeing that when we are providing 0 0 the output is 1 when we are providing x and y value 0 and 1 we are getting the output 1 and when we are getting giving the input values of x and y are 1 and 0 the output we are getting is 1 and when we are getting giving x and y is equal to 1 1 we are getting the output 0 the one point which is mentioning over here that when we are providing in nand gate when we are providing the nand gate the inputs x and y is equal to 1 1 we are getting the output 0 while in the case of and gate when we are providing inputs 1 1 we get the output 1 this is the main difference between nand and and gate and nand gate is providing always the output complement of and gate and this is also the same as nand gate here in nor gate it provides the complement output of or gate here in the graphical symbol we are seeing that nor gate is the combination of or gate and not gate here x and y both are inputs of nor gate and f is the output of nor gate the algebraic expression or function is f is equal to x plus y ka whole complement and the truth table of nor gate is equal to when x and y both are equal to 0 0 the output will be 1 
and rest of the inputs the output will be equal to zero in the same way nor gate is the complement of or gate we provide the output of nor gate is getting the complement of or gate this is the simple universal gates and their truth table and graphical symbols with their algebraic expression in this slide we will discuss about exclusive gate exclusive gate we can say that xor gate this is the graphical symbol of exclusive gate and this is the algebraical symbol a function of exclusive gate here we are seeing that function f is equal to x xor y where when we expand this expression we get the algebraic expression x y dash plus x dash y this is the expanded form of x xor y and this is the truth table when both of the inputs of xor gate are identical or we can say same the output will be equal to zero and when any one of the input is equal to one the output will be one this is the xor gate and in the same way exclusive nor gate or xnor gate this is the diagram of graphical symbol of xnor gate where x and y are inputs of xnor gate and f is the output and this is the algebraic function of xnor gate where f is equal to x exclusive y ka whole complement it means the expanded form of this expression will be equal to xy plus x dash y dash this is the algebraic expression when we expanded this form x exclusive y ka whole complement and this is the truth table of x nor gate where we are seeing that this table is the complement of x or gate in this table when both of the inputs are identical the output is 0 0 and when we see in x nor gate the when both of the inputs are identical or same the outputs are complement of xor gate and the same condition will be also over here that xnor output of xnor is the complement of xor gate this is the truth table of xor and this is the truth table of xnor and xnor is the complement of xor gate with the help of not gate we provide we construct xnor gate from the xor gate so now in the last of this video we have conclusion of our today's topic logic gates in short in very short we will discuss all of these points here and gate and this is the function of and gate what is the function of and gate we will discuss over here and get the output is true if all inputs are true or get we get the output true if either or both inputs are true in not get we get the output is inverse of the input buffer get ke liye the output is same as the input nand get the output is true if any or both inputs are false nor get the output is true if all inputs are false xor gate the output is true if both inputs are not same xnor gate the output is true if both inputs are same so friends in this today video we have discussed about logic gates their types and also we have seen that what is the function algebraic function what is the uh, function diagram truth table of different different logic gates i hope you have understand all of these points of logic gates so stay connected with us thank you for watching angel stock show for educational technical and motivational video thank you so much